Welcome everybody to Double Dragon 2 The Revenge. I am here with a friend of mine and we're gonna play some co-op Double Dragon. Hey Judd. How's it going? Good. Person who doesn't want to say his name. Yeah, I'm Tom, he's an evil genius white uh, from Channel Awesome. I do the show called Weird Video Games. And we are here to play some Double Dragon because did you challenge me to Double Dragon? What was the deal? What was? I don't even remember how we decided to do this suddenly. I don't. We just argued over which game we should play, and uh, like uh, you said that uh, Nestopia uh, lets you play NES games, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm good at Double Dragon too. Let's do that. Right, because we were discussing that over Streets of Rage three. Yeah, which we could do, but we would lose. You know what? I uh, I streamed uh, Bare Knuckle three. Oh yeah. I put it on Maniac. Holy crap, that game is easier than Streets of Rage 3. Yeah, everyone says that. Like, no. what is the Japanese version ever easier? Oh, we're um, missing important plot details here. I know. Uh, Billy's girlfriend, Marion, was killed. Like this. They, they reenact it with grinning faces. So, was he there? Because it, it just shows his angry face. I think that's supposed to be the ninja that kills him, but the weird thing is the manual says she gets gunned down. So I don't know. Your controller's not working, isn't it? It is now. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Good start, Tom. Good start. No, I checked it right before we started recording, and it was fine, but it just randomly changed on me. I don't know why, but it's fixed. I was waiting for that. <laughs> just in case you knew. Yeah. Alright, so I am playing as Blue, player one, that is Billy Lee, and Tom is playing as Jimmy Lee in the red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah! <Listen. laughs> I got the, uh, super uppercut thing all mastered. What's up with that, like, random, like, st straight up kick? Is that just a Jimmy thing? Because I don't think I can yeah. do that as Billy. Uh, if you hold down while pressing either button while you have them grabbed, you elbow drop them. And if you hold up, you kick them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I noticed that oh, you there were we go. doing that earlier, and I wasn't sure if you didn't know how to do it or if it was just, um, you didn't prefer it. Uh, confession time. I My first time beating Double Dragon 2 was two days ago. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, like, uh, I practiced it this week because I was like, okay, let's get through it. And the only thing that kept screwing me off, really, was the super moves. Like, I could get the tornado kick down for the most part. It was the knee that I couldn't always get right. Oh, it is definitely the hardest. Like, like that, the one that just shot the girl off the screen. Uh, for those who have never played Double Dragon 2 before, the way it works is just two attack buttons. One is left attack and one is right attack. Uh, you will do a kick behind you for your opposite direction, depending on where you're facing. It has longer reach, but it is slower. And there's also... is it three special moves? Uh, well, there's the cyclone kick, there's... Um, there's the uppercut. There's, there's the, the uppercut when you land, and then there's the knee. You were having Which so much better luck doing do. this. There we go, that's the knee. Yeah, that's the knee. I have better luck with the knee than the uppercut, apparently, because I can't seem to do it. Huh. You will see them in action. If you hear a gunshot noise, you know we've done it right. That's a weird gunshot sound. Oh, it never... kind of is. Well, especially the knee. The knee is clearly like a kind of noise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, how? yeah, how is that anything but? Of course, the one time I do it, we don't hear the sound effects, so it's great. Throw him off, throw him off, damn it. So apparently throwing the pipes is also an insta-kill to those guys. I don't know if you've ever done that before. Oh yeah, uh, I didn't know it was insta-kill, I knew it's powerful. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the decoy! Because you are apparently so much better <sighs> at this game than I am. <laughs> Sometimes. Nope. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. We are also playing on two-player B mode, which means we can attack each other. So if yeah. you see us punching each other constantly. Yeah. There oh, we there go. That's go. the good. That's me. Nah. I had to fight the impulse to just drop off the bottom there. <laughs> yeah. Please don't. We need the we need the lives. They're escaping in that chopper. You'll never make it. Go for Broak. Like, how is this a heliport? <laughs> I never ever thought about that. 
I've been playing this game since I was like 10, so... I just realized that was the name of the stage! I just thought like, yeah, like, we're just gonna jump across a couple of roofs. PH1 there. <laughs> well, I guess you would land a helicopter on a roof, so... I, I guess. That, I guess that makes sense, but I wouldn't call it at a heliport. Yeah. I'm being so careful here, because I don't want... I, I, yeah, I knew the same thing. I was like, I don't want to knock him off. Yeah. Maybe we should have done A mode. Okay, so now this part is pretty easy in single player, but with both of us scrolling, it's pretty hard now. Oh. It's okay, I just took a gunshot. Uh, the easiest thing I found is to let them start climbing down, and then you can just yeah. tornado kick them off. Well, I find that I can just kick them right off the cliff if I stand here. Oh, okay. That also makes sense. But of course, the one time you say it, it's not going to work. Oh, there you go. Oh, I missed that time. Oh. Blah! I can't even use my strategy because you keep knocking the other guy down. <laughs> well, Alright. Okay. I like how smoothly that helicopter moves, too. It's great. Okay, so I got left, you got right? Okay. Strategy. <laughs> no matter of speaking. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Is, oh, oh yeah, there's always that one last guy that spawns separately. I'm not sure I, why. I'm so used to the single player because there's only like so many characters show up. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> when I play single player, I can kill these two guys flawlessly without getting a hit. No, I can do that too, which is it's just funny because we're now we're crashing into each other or the timing's like slightly off because we're doing net play. Apparently we have like a one frame delay or something like that, which is not too bad, all things considered. Most of the time I, I don't even notice anything. Just occasionally. Look, come on, I'm standing right next to the helicopter. I never I got that. It. I thought I thought as a kid you were actually supposed to grab the ladder, and then when it started flying away, I freaked out. Yeah. Hold it! You'll never escape from us. Grass! I love how they spell out grass. G-R-A-S-P! Yeah. The chopper escaped into the neon-filled night. Why is the night filled with neon? Because it's the 80s. <laughs> what year did this come out? This is like 92? I have no idea. I suppose it wouldn't be 92 because that Double Dragon 3 came out. It also probably said at the beginning of the game and I completely did not pay attention because I'm an idiot. But I want to say well, it's it 89. would have been important if you hadn't drawn the attention to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my bad. That's what I get for trying to pay attention to what I'm doing. So that's what, uh oh. Okay, yeah. We're gonna, this is not gonna work right, I don't think, this time. Okay. Usually, if you walk in the bottom right corner, a boba will just. Shit! <laughs> yeah, just stay in the corner, and it should be timed just right for a bobo to go out. <laughs> there you go. Peace cake. Yeah, I was gonna do that for the first guy, but it kinda st stuck up on us. <laughs> yeah, I thought there was still another guy left, so I was like, oh, okay. shoot! Chopper is landing on a mysterious island. Mission four, undersea base. Um, what what kind of group has like this kind of resources? <laughs> I don't know. They also they also obviously have cloning technology because there's like a million guys who look the same. <laughs> oh man, I just realized something too. We're gonna have, do we that. One of the later bosses, do we both have to get up to the top or just one of us? I'm not really sure what you're talking about. Uh, the, I think the stage six boss, or stage, stage five boss. Oh. The giant, yeah. Like that big, uh, vehicle. Yeah, the, the giant, like, oh, that I want to say construction machine. That is a huge pain. <laughs> For those is... of you who haven't played the game, you'll see. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, I, I want to say what it is to you, but I don't want to spoil it for the people who want don't want spoilers on, like, a 30-year-old game. <laughs> it's like I'm talking about Final Fantasy VII right now. Have you ever had that ever happen to you? Like, someone complained because you spoiled, like, a 30-year-old game? Uh, sh I don't think so. Um, 
I'm usually pretty careful about spoilers in most things. I mean, obviously with the like my weird video games uh, videos, I show them the whole game, anything that's weird, so... It's just kind of assumed. You're gonna see everything. So I don't usually have complaints about that, but... If I'm doing any other kind of video or whatever, then I don't tend to um, get complaints. Or I don't tend to use spoilers if I don't have to. See, we have such weird different fighting styles. Like, I remember when I used to do, when I did this in practice, I used to just jump off of this and wake up into a knee. Yeah. apparently the spikes don't hurt you. They don't? No, All this apparently. time I was carefully avoiding them. <laughs> well, well, okay, the ones that are moving up and down will, but apparently, like, the ceiling ones will not, or they'll do so little damage you'll be fine. Hey, we actually avoid all of them this time. Well, you're the one who got hit during practice. <laughs> <laughs> I, never, I never got why these girls carried grenades as of all things as a weapon. Why not? <laughs> well, I mean, like, earlier they had, like, the ball and chain, so why would they suddenly switch from maces to grenades? Doesn't seem like a downgrade. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> They're kind of one-time use, though, if you think about it. Yeah. But they have a bunch, I think. Like these guys, they have a whole bunch of knives. Every time you hit them... Oh, sorry. Nope. It's okay. <laughs> Ow! But yeah, every time you hit them, they drop another knife. Bam! Oh, that's satisfying. Yeah, it is. That's my favorite part of this. Like, ah. Go. Oh, jeez. See, this is the point where I can't always I can't always get the knee off, which is what screws it up for me. <laughs> there we go, he's dead. No, oh, he's not. No, he's that. Damn you, a bobo! <laughs> My flawless plan. My flawless suicidal plan is not working right. I definitely see your health going down. No, oh, that's because oh. he's punching me. Yeah, maybe. Okay, now I need your help. <laughs> oh God, I've angered a bobo. Ah, I did the uppercut, but he was too far. Ah. Stay away from me, Bobo! Here Bobo! There you go. Oh, that was way too close. All right, and this, ready? This is why I should not try to come up with stupid strategies. All right, let's do this. That is so cheap. That is such a beginner trap. I hate that. Yeah. And then there's this part, too, which is going to be fun. Yeah, as long as you stay just a little bit to the right of the edge, you can usually get it by going straight up. See, I was stupid as a kid, and even when I first started playing this, because I tried to jump from treadmill to treadmill, but the delay on your landing is so long that it just pushed me off. 